Now, let's move on to another very troubling story. And the anti-racism protests across the UK following George Floyd's death have sparked passionate debate, of course, about how we should remember significant figures from our past. Perhaps the most prominent is Sir Winston Churchill. His statue in Parliament Square was targeted by some demonstrators last weekend. And now it and the Cenotaph have been boarded up for their protection ahead of further protests, something the Prime Minister called absurd and shameful. They stand as a memorial to the past, as monuments of remembrance, and as a testament to the great leaders of yesterday. But now they are the focus of tensions, of Britain's attitudes to race and heritage. One of the most famous symbols of Britishness today stood shielded from view, the statue of Sir Winston Churchill, protected over fears it could be vandalized. To many, the nation's greatest leader, but others accuse him of racism. His monument daubed with graffiti at a previous demonstration. Although he was lauded for leading the nation to victory during the Second World War, he remains a deeply controversial figure to some, partly for his views over race. He said of Indians, they are a beastly people with a beastly religion. The current Prime Minister Boris Johnson said, while the wartime leader expressed opinions that were unacceptable to us today, we should not erase or edit our past. The statue of, of Winston Churchill, who is a national hero, has had to be boarded up uh, for fear of violent attack. And that, to me, is both absurd and, and wrong. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! This afternoon, hundreds protested in support of the Black Lives Matter movement in central London. People here saying these demonstrations have to be more than just about coming together in a park and more than just about statues. Institutional racism affects every aspect of life and I think that is a message that has been lost um, recently and over the years. And the highest forces need to acknowledge that because we cannot make change if those that are within that institution are not willing to accept the fact that there is a problem. Organisers postponed this weekend's official protests, saying far-right groups had threatened their safety and could even carry out violence under their banner. The police have now imposed conditions to try and keep different groups apart. My message to people who I'm sure have very strong feelings about the issues are this weekend, please express your voice in a different way and don't come physically to the streets of London. And the police have promised a robust response to any disorder. Sedgil Karia, News at 10, Central London.